Well, hey guys, it's Randy Kennard with Maine Wildlife Management. We're down in Montville today, taking a look at a flying squirrel job. And we're just going to show you this. We're looking for uh, flying squirrels, but we just happen to notice where mice are coming into the home. I'm going to show you this really quick. When you look around the foundation, you know, it's, it's pretty uniform. Um, underneath here is pretty tight. Typically there's a gap there. Over here, at the spot where the concrete has come apart, and if you look closely, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up, you can see slight discolorations. If you look back here, you see that smudging going on right there? Right, that's travel ways where the mice are coming up. That's all smudged up right here. The paint's worn off. I mean, if you look down around the whole thing, the rest of this is all uniform all the way across, all the paint. You have this one location where it's all smudged. And look at all the smudge right there, the discoloration in the, in the mortar. We got a couple of little droppings down there. You look up here, it looks like some smudging coming up on these steps and some missing um, stain there. And then they just fall their way up through and they go wherever they're going to go up inside. You know, climb up the, climbing up the wood is not an issue. Um, so when you start looking for these things, how are mice getting into my house? Uh, just look for the travel ways. Half the time, if they're coming and going, there's going to be some heavy duty travel ways. And they're going to be, um, if they're going to be using corners, edges, little gaps like this where there's cracks and they can get a foothold. And then once they get onto the, the wood, like in this case of a log cabin, well, they can go anywhere. Just, they can get a grip on that soft wood, no problem at all. Um, cedar shakes are really common for wildlife, even mice climbing to the top and then gaining access down inside. You know, if we just take a quick look up here, we can see that ridge cap up there has tons of gaps in it. It's pretty common. Water doesn't get in, but animals can go up in underneath. You know, we got some gaps here on the chimney flashing. They guard inside there, then they have access to the whole house. Same thing here, if they get up on the roof, they get access to the roof boot. I mean, water's gonna hit it and run off, but animals can go up underneath. Bats, mice, flying squirrels. Over here we can see where a dormer ties in. There's some chewing underneath there. There's a ton of places. So, if you're going around your house looking for, trying to find out where mice, um, rats, squirrels, anything are coming, um, check your edges, check for gaps, check for transition areas. Anytime two materials come together, concrete to stone to wood to metal, whatever it is, um, check those areas first and uh, go from there. So, thanks a lot, guys. Bye.